Hello beautiful peeps, this is Chris from Techspert and I've got my hands on a boxed version of the Anki Vector, the robot companion who promises not to overthrow humankind and enslave us all. Gonna give him a full unboxing, get him all set up and have a good old play to show you exactly what he's capable of. So you might have seen my coverage of the Anki Cosmo over on Rakombu as the Vector is basically the follow up to Cosmo. He's a lot smarter now, he can connect directly to the internet via your Wi-Fi network. As you can see here, he's your robot psychic who's up for anything. Apparently he's the robot to life with. Not really sure what that means, but okay. Okay, slip that off and let's see what we got. So there is the Anki Vector right there, cute little chap. I'll stick him aside for now, let's just see what else we get. So like the uh, Cosmo before it, we've got a uh, funny little cube, which you can have a bit of a play with. And we also have his charging station as well. So what you can do is you can just roll himself into there when he needs to power up. And in here, we will uh, have some documentation to tell you all about Vector, get him started up. As you see, you will need a compatible device. Uh, so I believe it's uh, Android or iOS. Uh, just to get him set up and then once you've actually got him set up you shouldn't need that anymore to interact with him he's fully voice activated and everything and as i say you can connect directly to uh, the internet via your wi-fi unlike the cosmo okay so i've downloaded the anki vector app from the app store onto my iphone and let's go and get him set up so yes yeah, good bit of gb english action uh place vector on the charger done uh pull the cube tab i've already done that as well plug in the charger done that nice and easy now we've just got to sign up for an account quickly. Okay, all signed up and everything. And now, as you can see, it's busy searching for the Vector. Vector T7P6, catchy nickname. Right, let's get connected. While Vector is busy updating, we'll just do a quick tour of the actual hardware itself. So as you can hopefully make out there, just beneath the uh, display, you get a built-in camera so Anki can recognize objects. He can actually take little pictures of you as well, if that's your bag. The screen itself obviously helps him to express himself. It gives him a lot of uh, character and personality. Like the Cosmo before him, he has a sort of shunty arm thing, uh, which he can use to push things, grab things, and again, just express himself. Up top here, you have the power button, as well as, of course, the charge meter as well. And surrounding that, you have a capacitive touch panel as well, which you can actually stroke and he can feel it. There are also four uh, directional mics built into the top as well, so Vector will be able to hear you wherever you are. As you can see here, you can configure uh, some of the units used as well, so a bit of Celsius, let's go for inches, and a 24-hour clock, continue. All right, so uh, let's give them a go. Come on, you lazy bugger. Oh. And off he goes. Having a bit of a look around. Okay, so Vector recognizes all kinds of commands uh, as pointed out by the app here. So as you can see, uh, all you need to do is say, hey Vector, and then he responds. Hey Vector, my name is Chris. Checking me out. There you go. <laughs> and we're now best buddies. So as you can see, if you just basically leave Vector to get on with it, it'll just kind of uh, do his own thing, just kind of uh, slowly trundle about the place and map out his environment using that camera. Thankfully, he's got uh, good detection of it as well, of any edges and things like that, so he won't accidentally go uh, strolling off the edge. And now he's just gonna have a bit of a trundle about, check out what's around. He's spotted the cactus. Oh. <laughs> giving that a bit of a nudge and oh again he gets so close it's quite terrifying as you can see here you actually get some quite in-depth stats uh, about vector and what you've been doing with him as well so how many times you said hey vector oh sorry vector the exact distance he's gone the petting duration as well so you can actually pet him using that capacitive uh, sensor so I'll just give him a little stroke now he quite likes that yeah he's definitely a fan of that tells you exactly what he's up to at any given time so Vector is looking around. Vector is listening for a beat apparently. So let's try playing him some music. He definitely seems to be liking a bit of a day to remember. Doing the robot equivalent of head banging. <laughs> That's a pretty nifty trick. So as mentioned before uh, Vector has all kinds of Alexa style smarts as well so for instance we say hey Vector what's the weather today? 
And there we go. Exact readout, 21 degrees. And a bit cloudy. Oh, he's off again. Don't go that way. Oh God, <laughs> terrifies me every time. Hey Vector, I have a question. What is the capital city of Portugal? Yay! Good robot. Hey Vector, fist bump. Yeah, buddy. And of course you can do typical uh, assistant stuff such as setting timers as well. So, hey Vector, set a timer for five minutes. As you can see there, the timer begins. And at any point you can say, hey Vector, how much longer is left on that timer? And there you go, get a straight readout. As you can see, it does take a little bit of time for him to uh, process the commands, but hopefully that's something that could be sped up in future updates. You could also get him to take your photo using that front facing camera as well. So, hey Vector, take a photo. All right, and you can then check that out using the app. So here we go, here's the photo we've just taken. And as you can see, you can then export that photo. So as you can see, it then just appears in your gallery as standard. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> what are you doing to that poor cat? And Vector can also play a bit of blackjack as well. So hey Vector, let's play a game. All right, it's 16. Yes, please. Let's go risky. Oh, damn. Yeah, I sure did. So a pretty simple game, but there's always a potential for Anki to update the Vector with more games in the future. Right, it looks like uh, Vector needs to charge up again. And the good news is that he can actually uh, get himself back to his charging pad uh, using his camera and his general smarts. So he's done some searching for his charging pad and hopefully he's detected it. And he just needs to back himself in there. And there he goes, turning around and reverse. Beautifully done, Vector Mate. And as you can see, he's now going to have a bit of a kip and recharge his batteries. So I've been playing with him for probably between 30 and 40 minutes there uh, on a full charge. So he can keep going for a while. And obviously the fact that he can recharge his own batteries as well is definitely a bonus. So that right there is the Anki Vector. Uh, he's gone a little bit nuts all of a sudden, so I'm not, not really sure what's going on there. So that right there is the Anki Vector. Definitely a very smart and very personable robot, uh, and definitely lots of potential for future expansion as well, thanks to that Wi-Fi connectivity. It does take a little while to respond to your comments, your questions, and the rest, but hopefully that can be ironed out again in future updates. It'd definitely be a great Christmas present. Can imagine this keeping your kids entertained for quite some time. So any questions or anything like that, just let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to hit subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers.